Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be showing you how you can use a DDS system, also known as a dry dock shelter, on a submarine in this scenario. We're also going to show you how to move units around without using Lua, which can be very, very helpful if you're trying to keep things simple in this scenario. Let's get started. So a dry dock system, aka DDS, is basically an underwater system that you can basically uh, deploy units with without surfacing. Now when you think special forces, you win that's really what they're there for. So what we're going to do is we're going to design a really, really simple situation where we have a submarine deliver some special forces to the beach through an SDV, which is basically a little underwater mini sub thing. It's actually pretty wild. Go check it out on Google Images when you got a second. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go and grab myself a submarine capable of this. I'll just do a quick search for DDS there. Oh, go good old fashioned Los Angeles. Sounds good to me. I'm now going to go ahead and select them. Press Control F7. Again, I'm in the mission editor here. I'm going to go ahead and come down here, set this to submarine, and all we need to do is find our SDV of victory here. Let's see here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Inspection. Ah, here we are. SDV Mark 8 Mod 1. Sounds good to me. I'll add a pair of those. I oh, can't add more. Now, this is where things get a little more interesting in our scenario, of course. So you're sitting there going, cool, you've got the SDV. It's ready to do SDV seal delivery vehicle. It's ready to go. It's basically going to drop off the troops. Now we just got to add some cargo, right? No. One of the problems with our submarines in this game is you'll notice they have no cargo capacity. So you say, well, wait a minute. Can't you just use an SDV, put some cargo into it, and then load that onto the submarine? Bad news, everybody. An SDV also has no cargo capacity. That basically means that, unfortunately for us, we're going to have to actually do this the old-fashioned way. So we're going to have to create the units and basically move them into position once we get there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my submarine here, and I'm going to go ahead and send it this way. And now I'm going to start getting ready over on this side of things. So the way this is going to work is once our heroes, or whatever you want to call it, our deployment team, manages to get themselves close enough to shore with the SDV, it'll automatically deploy the Navy SEALs. Let's do it. So I'm going to press Control F1 here. I'm sorry, Control Insert. I'm going to go ahead and create my little area where the Navy SEALs are going to deploy. I'm going to go ahead and uh, one of the things you'd probably want to do is you'd want to lock these reference points. Uh, the reason we do that, of course, is if you are playing like an actual, if you're making like a real scenario here, you'd want to do something like this to kind of deny the player from being able to move these things around. But that's perfectly fine. Um, this is going to be our deployment zone for our Navy SEALs. And one thing you want to check too is if I hold my mouse here, see a lot of this is technically underwater. Uh, we got to be mindful. As a matter of fact, that's so frustrating. We might actually want to grab all those points one more time, move them inland so we don't run into the next problem we're going to have. We'll go ahead and unlock them. Hold down the shift key, by the way. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, isn't that so cool? Yeah, the more you know, right? Cool. So that's going to be our spawn zone for our Navy SEALs. So I'm going to go ahead and lock that. And now, of course, what I'm going to do is define our we're close enough to the beach with the SDV zone so we can actually spawn them in. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and grab myself some points here. Control insert, control insert, control insert, control insert. I guess technically, if we wanted to be doing this in a true way, if we want to get into the asset and all that, we could go through right here. I actually appreciate the fact they took the time to like actually build a little gap here where everybody's sailboats go through. Uh, the real world, I have bad news, folks. This is an incredibly tiny channel, but that's not my problem right now. So this is going to be our SDV zone. So, so one of the things we could do is we could make this a zone. We could define this different ways and stuff like that. So if I were to actually uh, define an area here, it asks me um, SDV deploy zone, something like that. So now if I press OK, the player is going to know that this is going to be where they're going to arrive. And now one of the things you're going to want to do real quick is you're going to want to lock those points too if you're designing an actual scenario because you don't want the player to move those. One of the cool things, though, is you'll actually see here that it maintains that properly. So that's perfectly fine. I'll have to worry about it. Now for the weird part. So we need to take units. And uh, when we get our SDV in here after deploying it from our submarine, we have to actually take units from somewhere else in the map and shove them into this area. Now, when players do this in the old days, they got pretty confused as to why there was a bunch of units sitting in the middle of, uh, you know, some island country somewhere. So what I usually like to do when I do this, again, it can be pretty darn cheeky as far as uh, where you'd like to put them. Because remember, we're just going to pull them out and we're going to move them somewhere else. But uh, for me, eh, Nantucket's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and grab a couple units of Navy SEALs here. Uh, let's see here. I need a facility. This is a little strange to think there's Navy SEALs facilities, but I'm not going to argue with it. Navy SEALs. Oh, uh, we'll get a couple squads. That works fine for me. Two squads. And what we're going to do is we're going to build an area around them. A lot of times when people do this, they try to make the area kind of like inclusive. So there's no chance the player accidentally orders somebody's like walk out of the area and they don't get teleported. Because trust me, players look around scenarios. That's what they're supposed to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and deselect all of my reference points because I don't want this to break when I go to do something in a minute. We're going to go ahead and define an area, rectangle. 
And I'm going to come down here, and um, we're going to press OK. I'm just going to call this area, ironically, uh, Unit uh, Marshalling Zone. Nice. So that's going to be my Unit Marshalling Zone. And of course, I'm definitely going to lock that zone as well, because we really don't want the player to move that. Otherwise, you're going to get hilarious unintended consequences. Nice. So now we have the units in the Marshalling Zone, the units in the Deploy Zone, and of course, we have the place where we're actually going to be putting our Navy SEALs here. You can start to see why this starts to get a little complicated. And yes, Lua can simplify this, but for our purposes, we're not going to do that today. We're going to keep it kind of old-fashioned. So I'm going to go over to my effects real quick and go ahead and get my event editor ready to go. Create a new event. Uh, this should not be repeatable. Deploy SEALs from SDV. Nice, I like that. So we're going to add a trigger. Uh, again, you can edit your triggers, keep it nice and simple. Uh, one thing we want to do is unit enters area. This is so important that we get this correct. Blue, uh, target type is going to be a submarine. Uh, target subtype is going to be an SDV. Uh, the, one of the cool things here is you can actually define when it's okay for it to actually enter the area. Right now, it's between 818 and it's going to be, oh my goodness, that's not good. What do we have today? We have 818, we'll do 819. Oh boy, that would have been pretty, oh, that's a year later. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. I'm not worried about that at all. So one of the things we want to do is we want to define the area that that's going to be working in. Oh boy. So we need to select our SDV deployment zone. This is going to be basically where we're going to operate. We'll come down here. I'm going to go ahead and select pick area. It's going to say, which one did you want? Oh, making too many screens. There it is. SDV deploy zone. Confirm. Ka ching So now if an SDV enters this zone, we're ready to go. So I'm happy with that. Check, check, check. SDV enters zone. Check, check, check. Chickity check before you riggedy wreck. Press the okie doke. Super. So we're going to add that as a quick little trigger. I'm going to go ahead and clean this out. This is going to go nuts. So now we need to add a condition. Edit conditions. And all we're going to do is create the world's simplest condition. Scenario has started. Scenario has started. <laughs> I, 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 I don't write this stuff. There we go. Go ahead and select that one too. Nice. Now we're ready to set up our action. This is the easy part. Edit actions. We're going to create ourselves a new action. Teleport to area. Now, this is the fun part. You can actually pick the units to teleport. In the old days, you couldn't actually do this. So it was actually kind of fun. So for example, if I want to grab them, I can hold down the control key and select both of them. But the important thing is uh, teleport from Nantucket. So we probably want to make sure we did that part correctly. Oh boy. Did I mention we have a lot of windows going right now? It just seems that way. So I'm going to carefully deselect everything, select this zone, and I'm going to pick the area. Now, if I did it right, I should just be able to go like that and press confirm. And I shouldn't even have to select it. All right, idiot check. We're highlighting all these sections from this sector. Check, 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 check. Okay, nice. Let's go ahead and close that. I'm going to go ahead and teleport, add action. Okay, let's review. Our SDVs will enter the zone. We'll deploy them from the submarine. The scenario must have started. And as soon as they do enter the zone, we're going to teleport the Navy SEALs unit from this location over here to this location. Uh-oh, did you see what I just did? Because I just realized what I just did. So unfortunately, um, if I ever did this, this would have been very embarrassing. So I'm actually go back and go fix my mistake. Did you catch the fact that this is the area we're teleporting to, not the area we're teleporting from? Oh, that was going to be embarrassing. I am so sorry, everybody. Let's go ahead and delete that. I'll go ahead and grab the actual correct points this time. There we go. Let's go ahead and uh, pick area. Ooh, let's go ahead and create an area just for safety. Now it's going to ask me which points these are. 12, 11, 13, 14. 12, 11, 13, 14. Those are going to be my points. Uh, let's see here. Go ahead and create myself a new area. Uh, let's see here. What are we going to call that? We have a second one of these for some reason. Uh, Navy SEAL Beach Head. Sounds good to me. Go ahead and add those points to it. Save. Delightful. So now we have our zones. Navy SEAL Beachhead is ready to rock. So now I can come back here, click on Pick Area once more. Ah, et voila. I like it. Confirm, and now we're good to go. Good thing I caught that now. I was about to be incredibly embarrassed in a few minutes here. Press okie doke. That looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Let's see. Check, 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 chickity check. Okie doke. And you can see it is now ready to go, and it is active. So we're ready to rock. Oh, this is going to be goofy. <laughs> it's not going to be my proudest moment of uh, submarine operations here. All right, let's test it. Now, if you haven't saved your scenario, control S, just to make sure we don't boo-boo here. All right, hachoo. Oh, look at that. We're much, much closer to the beach. Oh, that's very nice. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a little closer, and let's get ready to deploy our SDVs. All right, get going, Los Angeles. I don't think I'd ever quite get this close to the beach. So fun fact, um, I'm actually poking out of the water right now, which is mm, kind of funny. 
But unfortunately, it's nighttime and nobody here in Ocean City is going to be suspecting us, uh, especially because it's August and there's going to be everybody in their pleasure boat out right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and come to a complete stop. We'll try to do this as, uh, you know, kind of, I guess, accurately, if you can. So we're going to slow down. So in the real world, what we would have done is we would have very slowly snuck up to the surface if we needed to deploy boats. But since we don't, I just press the F7 key, grab my two SDVs, and I'm going to launch them as a group. Isn't that awesome? So basically now all the Navy SEALs are going to climb on board. And as soon as they climb on board, what they're going to do is they're basically going to flood the little DDS. They're going to open the door on it, and they're just going to float on out. There they go. Isn't that so cool? Let's go grab my SSN here. And let's order them to get the heck out of there. Uh, we're going to creep at maximum deltitude or depthitude. That's a new word. Meanwhile, we now have our two SDVs. Group 26. Uh, these things, yeah, there's a picture. Oh, I was wondering if we we're going to get a picture of this thing. So I'm going to grab them. Um, obviously, uh, we have to be mindful of the fact they have basically no range. They have a six hour and 45 minutes, and there they go. Dun, 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 dun. Kind of a thing like that. They're so cute, aren't they? I, I don't know. I, I just think they're the cutest little thing. Aha! And it worked. You will notice the second my SDVs entered into the zone, my Navy SEALs immediately arrived. So now if we want to uh, continue the scenario, we could, of course, grab my Navy SEALs and order them to head over to Thrasher's and get my popcorn, French fries, and to Fisher's to get my popcorn. But uh, for now, I think that's what it's going to be. So as you can see, we did all of that without Lua. Could you have done it with Lua? Absolutely. But sometimes it's the easier ways are the best ways. Enjoy.